Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. I want to thank everyone. I'm now recording. Please, I want you to give attention to what we are going to do. And I will read you. God will help us. So I want to welcome. This is your host, the prophetess, Dr. Christine Isigi. Welcome you. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. I want to welcome everyone. Uh, this is uh, Overcome as Deliverance and Healing Ministry. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we thank you. Wow. Yes. Ah, I'm going to talk to you the topic called Laboring Under Demonic Bondage. Laboring under demonic bondage. And we are going to look in the scripture from the book of uh, Matthew 11, verse 28 to 29. The Bible says, Come unto me, and, in, and it is an, an invitation. All ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easier and burden is light. So the Lord is inviting us because he knows that people are carrying yokes, they are carrying burden. So the yoke, you know the yoke? The yoke is a, a good that people are being tied on the neck. A yoke is a very heavy uh, stuff that God knows that you've been calling it and the Lord will rest you. The Lord will help you. The Lord will deliver you from this burden. Amen. The Lord knows that you have been suffering a lot. The Lord knows that as you've been, he said, come, come unto me. All of ye labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. God knows, Jesus knows how what you are going through, the burden you are carrying, what you are heavy, you are the, the, the burden you are going on. The Lord, the Bible says, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto my and unto your soul. So the Lord knows that as you, you take his yoke. The yoke of God is easy. And Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, knows what you are going through. That's why he said, come to me. Come to me. Come to me, all ye that labor under every burden. And I will give you a rest. God knows what you are going through. God knows everything that you are going through. He knows that. That's why he's calling you today to come. It, it means that you, you are already there, but you, it, it seems that you, you need to come more. Because he knows that people go through, through hard time, through hard life. That's why he's saying, come to me. Take my yoke upon you and learn on me. For I am meek and lowly in heart. And ye shall find rest unto your soul. So you will find the rest of, of God. You will find the rest in Jesus. Jesus Christ has paid all the problem, all the what you are going through, but still you are going through. Jesus died for us so that we can be free, but we are not free. Something is not right. You see, when Jesus, Jesus has done everything for us so that we can enjoy and be happy, but you see, we are not. Something is not right. Something is not right. So there are five things we're looking under demonic bondage. There are people who are laboring under demonic bondage. There are those who are carrying heavy burdens. There are those who have the yoke of enemy upon their necks. There are those who are carrying the uh, yokes of the enemy upon the yokes. You know the yokes of Jesus is easy. When you carry the clothes of Jesus, it's easy. But when you carry the yoke of the enemy, it is hard, difficult. You can walk like elephant, eat like an ant. You sometimes, yesterday, I was, I was, I was really feeling very sad to somebody in the States. This person work, 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 but no pay. They pay under wage. 
they pay like like nothing but it's doing a lot of work some when you are carrying a yoke of satan that's what happened when you are carrying the yokes of of the enemy everything it is is shut everything is not working when you are carrying the yoke of the enemy there is nothing good happening to you and remember jesus said that come to me my yoke is easy you will find rest but when you call the yoke at the, the enemy knows that he has his yoke that's what the bible says in isaiah uh, 10 27 says that the the yoke, the, the, the yoke anointing would break the yoke because the devil knows that jesus said come to me and you would have rest my, take my yoke then the devil knows that there is a yoke of jesus and now the devil also prepare his own yoke and when he prepares yoke he put to people now people they struggle so much that's why you you see many people yesterday i was talking about depression you see people are being depressed because of the yoke of the enemy the devil when the devil plays the yoke of depressed you you will be depressed depressed until you cannot even come out of, of your house you can lose everything you can just hide yourself in the blanket that you, you think everybody is against you when the yoke of the enemy is on your neck that nothing good is working 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 for you everything is against you you try this you pray you do everything but it's still the same now today jesus is going to, to break that yoke there is only one person who can break the yoke there is only one person who can break the yoke and remove the burden and that is jesus christ the son of the living god he will break the burden he will remove that burden he will remove what you are going through in the name of jesus when he has finished removing the burden and breaking the yoke he will now give you his own yoke and place his burden upon you his yoke is easier and his own burden is right you see here jesus he knows how to break the yoke jesus break the yoke and replace his yoke any yoke of satan that you are calling i command them to break in the name of jesus i am cursing them now in the name of jesus i i curse every yoke that you are calling yoke of satan i break you evil yoke I break you. Amen. Yoke of poverty, I break you. Amen. Yoke of sickness, I break you. Amen. Yoke, yoke, every yoke of Satan, I break you. I command you by the power and the blood of Jesus to be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Amen. My God, I praise your name, Jesus. I thank you, Father. You are a great God. My God and my Father, I honor you because you are God. You have promised us that your yoke is easy. My Father and my God, those people who are calling every, every yoke, they, do, they don't know how, they do not know what to do. They don't know where to turn to. My Lord Jesus Christ, you have promised that your yoke is easy to call in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, I thank you, Father. Now, when we look at the book of John 8, verse 12, the Bible says, Then Jesus again speak to them and saying, I am the light of the world. He who follow, follows me will not walk in the darkness, but I will I will I I will have the right of life. So now here Jesus says that it's the right of the world. He who follows me will not walk in darkness. So is the light. Jesus Christ, the, our Savior, the Son of the Living God, is the right of the world. He who follows him, he will not walk in the in darkness. So this morning, when I was praying, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed, I prayed so hard. Because I wanted to, to, to know and to see what is going on. Then I saw so many people, a lot of people, thousands and thousands, they are living in darkness. They are covered by darkness. Now the Lord was telling me, look at this. They are almost, almost, almost the whole world. It's few, very few are now on the, on the right. But the majority, all of, almost, almost all of them, they are living in darkness. Remember, we have six billion people, and now it's only one billion who have saved. And this one billion also, they are, they are not living in righteousness. They are not, they are not, their heaven is not still, they can make to heaven, but they are struggling. Now, now, now I pray that God Almighty will give the light to those who are walking in the darkness in the name of Jesus. 
I pray that God would bring deliverance to people, that they would live in the right in Jesus' name. I pray that God would remove those people who are living in darkness so that they can live in the light because Jesus Christ is the light of the world. And who follows him, he will walk in the light. Many people they are walking in darkness. Yes, they are saved, they are in the church, but they are walking in darkness. My Father, I pray, deliver them. Amen. Deliver them from darkness. Amen. Deliver them from darkness, God. Amen. Deliver them from the dark, God, my Father. You find that people, even pastors, pe people of God. One time, I was, I was looking for a church to go. And then I met a man. Uh, he is from Africa. So since he was African, we talk and, and he told me that uh, he has a church in Toronto. So I said, okay, fine. Then eventually I got a church where I was going. But this man, he was a pastor, but he never told me that he's a pastor. I, he told me that he goes to church in Toronto. Now, uh, I, that time I was new and I was working McDonald's. The first time, my first job was McDonald's because you start from McDonald's and then you can go somewhere else. So now, uh, uh, he told me he's coming to pick me uh, from, because I used to finish work uh, late or early in the morning. So when he was coming to pick me, this man, he was almost seducing me. So <laughs> he started touching me. Started, I said, no, 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 you don't have, I told you I'm a Christian and I, I don't do that. <laughs> So he, he even opened his uh, private part and they want to wonder. They said, My God, I don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> but right, let me tell you this. Uh, now, <laughs> sorry, sorry for kids at the last of it. <laughs> Woo! Now, this, the, God is good. When I become a, a deliverance minister, I went to the church and, this, the, and there was a pastor who was coming from Africa. He was a deliverance minister. He came to his church. Now, this very pastor, I went there, and I saw him as a pastor, and, I, and they said he's a deliverance pastor. This pastor, who, he never told me he's a pastor. He, he told me that uh, he, he has a church in Toronto, but he didn't tell me that he's a pastor. Now, when I see him, I ask people, is that a pastor? And then they said, yes. Is that a pastor? Yes. And then I said, is that a pastor? Yes. And then I said, I repeated three times, is that a pastor? said yes and then a lady asking me why this man almost left me <laughs> i said this man almost robbed me then i went i said how, what was his name i called his name richard hi 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 then he looked at me i said i said yeah <laughs> then the following sunday i went there I went there that church again Sunday. So I went early and I sit in front and he was preaching. You know he was not able to preach. So he was able to preach, but thank God, this pastor, he left the church and left and he went away. I don't know where he went. So the, the other pastor has taken over. I went there on, on Sunday, this Sunday, to check what is going there on, on that church. So I found everything is changed. So we thank God for that. So you, saw, you see, pastors, some pastors, they live in darkness. They are, yes, they are, they, are, they, are, they are saved, they are Christian, but they live in darkness, a pastor of the church. Yeah? He didn't mention, he didn't say anything that he's a pastor. I mean, I told him who I am. Now, he said, okay, now I, I get a woman who is, who, well, am I going to use, like, he told me that he, his wife is in the States, he divorced her, so he doesn't have a wife. Now I ask people there, right there in the church, is this pastor married? Yes, that's his wife. I said, my God, my God. <laughs> my God, you see, I got, I got really exposed him when I was shocked. I was shocked. I was shocked. I said, he told me that he's divorced. Yeah, if I was not strong, he, I, we could have, I, we, he could, have, he could have been in my house and met there every night, maybe. <laughs> I'm telling you, the people are walking in darkness. I am, I am a woman. And I walk in the midst of men, men of God and, and people of God. Sometimes I go to the conference and I meet the men of God. Honestly speaking, I'm telling you the truth. This is the truth, the truth, the truth. These bishops, some of them, they come to my room. They just want me there. They want to expose themselves. They want to get, they, they, one, one of them is my lecture. I will never forget this. 
He was a very good man. He teaches counseling. Very good doctor. He's a doctor. So this man, when he teaches, teaches counseling, you think like, like, I, oh God, he's really a good person. Now this man, he, he, because he, he, he really brought me a problem, a problem until I was not, I was, it took me so long time to do my graduation. Because he said, ah, you know Abraham, Isaac, uh, and, and uh, you know uh, Solomon, David, how many wives was he having? He has concubine. So what's wrong if I have a concubine? I said, no, no, not me, not me. Go <laughs> So, this is a, my lecture, a, 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 a professor. So you see, people, they live in darkness. People, they live in darkness. They are a Christian, but they are living in, 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 in darkness. That's why the Bible says that many, 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 not, not few, they will come and say, Lord, we heal, we did a miracle, but God will tell them, I don't know you. Because people are living in, in darkness. They will miss heaven. So Jesus today is calling us that he is, is, he is the right of the world. He, who, he who follows him, he will not walk in darkness. Why do we walk in darkness? Why do people decide to live in darkness? May God deliver us in the name of Jesus. We may examine our heart because Jesus is coming. If he comes today and you miss heaven, you will go to hell fire, internal hell. Internal, internal hell. So examine your heart and see if for sure Jesus comes today, are you ready to go with him? Are you living in darkness? Every power that makes you to go to be to live in darkness, let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yeah. Every power of darkness yeah. that is covering you, that makes you to live in that life, let them die. Let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. I pray that God may touch your life and change your circumstances around you. You are overcomers. You will not live in the in the darkness anymore in Jesus' name. Yeah. Yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. In the book of Acts, Acts 26, verse 18, the Bible says, to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the dominion of Satan to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and of inheritance among those who have been sanctified by faith in me. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. So you see, the Bible says to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to the light and from the dominion of Satan. You know, people, they are the dominion. Satan has taken dominion over their life. People, people of God, the devil has taken, you know, we have been given dominion over the devil, over anything. And, and, and Jesus, God has given us dominion. Now, here is fast, fast. The devil has taken dominion. Now it's, it's, it's over. It's taking, it's controlling you. It's taking over you. The devil has deceived the people and then he has ruled the life of, of, of the people. Now, to open, to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness. If your eyes will be open, you will see how many people are suffering. You see how people are living in darkness. You will not stay the way you are. I saw a vision of children being beaten and being tortured that some 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 evil has been released to children children are want to be attacked so i went and did the videos i pray for the children so yesterday one of our ch child one of our daughter she was attacked and she was feeling like something was hurting her so so hard so she was crying that something is beating from her back she was crying so i prayed for her that thing we left her and then Almost this time when we are about to start the meeting, I think the mother called me and said, the same thing has come. And now I said, you, then the Holy Spirit remind me, said, okay, that is the thing you saw. But I pray for the child. So the child is going to be okay. Now I'm telling you that when the Lord will open your eyes and see what is happening, how people are carrying the burden, how people are being living in darkness, I'm telling you, you cannot live the way you are. That that to open their eyes so that they may turn from darkness to light and from the dominions of dominion of Satan to come to God, that they may receive forgiveness of sins and an inheritance among those who have been sanctified by faith 
in him. So you, you will receive the forgiveness. God Almighty is here to forgive you if you turn from darkness to the right. If God can open your eyes in the name of Jesus. God, our God is so good because he doesn't remember your sins. People, they remember, but God does not remember. God forgives you and he forgets you completely. That's why Jesus Christ, the son of the living God, has said, call my burden, call my yoke. I will, I will give you rest. And my, my yoke is easy to carry. Hallelujah. Praise be the name of Jesus. We thank God that God is good and God is faithful in the name of Jesus. Our God loves us. God loves us. God loves you. God loves you. When you are depressed, you feel like nobody loves you. You feel like everything is against you. Remember, I love you, and Jesus loves you, and God loves you, so we love you too. So do be happy and rejoice. Look at this. Jesus has, has forgiven you sins, and you will, he will never forget. He will never remember your sins. So keep, don't remind your sins and you think that. There was a lady. She was telling me that, you know, I, I, I'm a sinner. God cannot forgive me. I said, where did you read that God cannot forgive you? It's, the Bible says, even if your sin is like blood, God will wash you and forgive you, and then you will be white as snow. So don't condemn yourself. God is a God, a loving God, and he forgives you sin and forget completely in Jesus' name. Let us repent and ask God to forgive us so that we can walk in the right. Ask God to forgive your sins. If you are not given your life to Jesus, this is the time you confess, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sins, to write my book, in the, to write my name in the book of the living. Lord, my Father, forgive me all my sins. Confess, confess, confess your sins. Ask God, before we go to pray, ask God to forgive all your sins. Ask God, my Father, in the name of Jesus, forgive me, forgive my sins, forgive everything that I have committed. My God and my Father, write my, my name in your book, in the book of living God. My Father and my God, my God, wash me, Jesus. Wash me with your blood of Jesus. Wash me and forgive me everything that I have done against you in darkness that I am living. Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I want to walk in the light. I don't want to walk in darkness. My God and my Father, let the darkness pay away let darkness go and i want to walk in the light of god in the mighty name of jesus lord i want to thank you in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen, amen. now let's stand and we pray we pray my synagogue prayer bullets we are the one to send the prayer bullets to the camp of the enemy and destroy them you pray like this every honor of evil york Every of, of my father's house, house. appear and carry your evil rod in the name of Jesus. Every honor of evil yoke of my father's house, appear and carry your evil rod in the name of Jesus. Every honor of evil yoke of, of my mother's house, house. appear and carry your evil rod in the name of Jesus. Every honor of evil yoke of my mother's house, house. appear and carry your evil rod in the name of Jesus. Every honor of evil rod of my surrounding appear and carry your evil yoke in the name of Jesus. Every honor of evil rod in my surroundings appear and carry your evil yoke in the name of Jesus. Every honor of evil yoke from my place of birth Appear and carry your evil yoke in the name of Jesus. When you are praying like this, the, the wicked, the evil, they don't like that because it is going to carry them. It needs that the yoke they have given you, you to carry. Now you send them back their honor to carry. They don't like that. They don't. They hate this prayer. They hate these prayers with perfect effort because that's exactly what is happening. Hallelujah. 
You the owners of evil yoke. You the owners of evil yoke. Carry your evil rod by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your evil rod by fire in the name of Jesus. Command the owner to come their yoke in the name of Jesus. You the owners of evil yoke. You are evil. Carry your your evil your your evil rod by fire in the name of Jesus. Carry your evil rod by fire in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Anointing that that destroy ignorance. The anointing. Yes, yes, yes. All you put your hand on your your and then you pray this prayer. Pray like this. Anointing that destroy ignorance. Anointing that destroy ignorance. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing that destroy interest. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing that destroy interest. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing that destroy interest. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Yes, continue, continue. Anointing that provokes open doors. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. Anointing that provokes open doors. Fall upon me in the name of Jesus. That is so bad luck. What are you waiting for? Scatter in the name of Jesus. It is of bad luck. What are you waiting for? Scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter, scatter in the name of Jesus. Scatter them, scatter them, scatter them, scatter, 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 Energetical fire, firing squad. Shoot my evil Lord in the name of Jesus. Energetical flying squad. Shoot my evil Lord in the name of Jesus. Energetical flying squad. Shoot my evil Lord in the name of Jesus. In the honor of evil Lord. In my life, carry your Lord by fire in the name of Jesus. In the honor of evil Lord. In my life, carry your Lord by fire in the name of Jesus. Evil evil Lord. On my life, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, every evil Lord on my life, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, every evil Lord on my life, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus, go back to your senders. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! The wickedness of my father's house. I am not your accompaniment. You shall not cut. You shall not catch up with me. In the name of Jesus. The wickedness of my father's house. I am not your accompaniment. You shall not. You shall not catch up with me. In the name of Jesus. The seed of greatness. My love. Explode. Explode. 
pray. You know, you know, there's some wicked people, even wicked pastors, even wicked priests. They can take your name and pray against you and pray so badly. And there's witchcraft also. They can go and fast and pray against you. They chant, chant, chant your name. And then it is a weapon. But the Bible says no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Yes. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Their weapon, their sacred weapon shall be destroyed in the name of Jesus. Yes. Their weapon, you destroy their weapon, you command their prayers to die. It will not manifest in the name of Jesus. Yes. yes. That's why you need to pray this prayer. Very aggressive. You pray with angry and aggression. You must make your spirit be very angry because this is what affects people. The witchcraft does not take a gun to shoot you. Those wicked, evil people who are, who are chanting, they don't take knife or, or a gun. They already go to their coven and start chanting and speaking evil against you. And then the worst one, it, it affects you. So you pray any weapon secret fashion against me by witchcraft covens and evil prayers houses. Die! Die in the name of Jesus. Let's pray that prayer again. Any weapon secretly formed and a weapon secretly fashioned against me by witchcraft covens and the evil prayer house die die in the name of Jesus a power of unknown alignment die in the name of Jesus power of unknown alignment On the mountain. Now, in, in states, there were pastors, people went to pray in the mountain. And then there was a man who has a list of people. This man was, was praying, kneeling down, praying nonstop, praying, really praying very hard. And then other people, they were praying, now the rain started raining. And then this man never left the place. He was praying, praying, praying. Then people said, This man is really praying. He did go when the rain was raining in the states there. Now, the, the, the person who is in charge of the, 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 the mountain, he wants to look, what is this man praying so hard like this? When he look at the wrist, he saw names of pastors, he saw names of churches, he saw names of people. And then the man said, wow, this man is praying against them. He was praying against them. He was saying, let them get, let them get us then and die. Let them be destroyed. So this man was chanting, was praying against those people. That's why you see many people accident happen. Some people, they get, or you go to the store, somebody shoot you for no reason. Something happened. Those are the chanters. They go there with their wrist and pray. They are praying and you have no idea what they are doing. You have no idea. So when you pray these prayers, when you do these prayers, it will destroy them. This is the truth. This is what happened. There are wicked people who are, who are praying very dangerous prayer. Uh, my son was telling me somebody had a prayer and this person was, was hard that he was mentioning my name, mentioning his name. Now this person said, why this person is praying and mentioning the name of the pastor? Now when they listened, they found that the man was praying very bad prayer against us. He was saying that that church that to be closed down. He was praying. <laughs> he was cursing the church. And you know, there are so many people who need salvation. There are so many people who need deliverance. There's a lot of people out there who need Jesus. Now, if you pray against the church to die and to be scattered, what, what do you mean? 
That is an agent. That's how they pray. And if you don't pray, it works. So we scatter them. We scatter them. Their prayers, we destroy them. We burn them. We set them a place in the name of Jesus. There are agendas of the evil prayers, houses. So you command them. You command them to be scattered and let them be destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Every agenda of evil prayers, houses. Every agenda of evil prayers, houses for my life. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Prophetically declare with faith in your heart. I, I am ordained by God. I to stop everything that stops my father and my mother. To stop everything that stops my father and my mother. And also want to stop me. And also want to stop me. Where it stopped them. Where it stopped them. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There's the power of your father's house and powers of your mother's house. These powers they are attacking you. They want to stop you. If they were sick, they had a sickness, they were poverty, they want to transfer this poverty to you. So you prophesize to yourself. You say, I prophetically uh, I prophesy on myself. I am ordained by God to stop everything that stopped my, my father and my mother. And also want to stop me where it stopped them in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We pray that God will deliver you in the name of Jesus. Amen. My God, my Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I seal this prayer with the precious blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I bless you. I give you all the glory, Jesus. You are so good, God. You are a wonderful God. My Father, I want to thank you. Jesus, I want to bless your name. Jesus, I want to give you all the glory. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Thank you very much. God bless you. Uh, this is your host, Prophetess Dr. Christine Sigi, saying bye-bye to you. Remember to go to our website, www.overcomersdhm. Uh, 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 sorry, www.overcomersdhm. Oh, gosh, my God. www.overcomersdhm ministries.blogspot.ca also you can send us our email address is overcomers dhm at gmail.com remember that we are here to help you to stand with you if you are struggling with anything you want to know the prayers we are based in a primary uh, Brampton, Ontario God bless you so much have a wonderful time people of God We'll talk to you today. Today we don't have a night. Uh, we don't have a midnight prayer. Today we don't have midnight prayer. We have morning. Tomorrow morning, eight o'clock a.m. We will be on. So tonight, don't come for prayer tonight. Come tomorrow, eight a.m. Okay. I love you so much. God bless you. Bye bye.